Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am in the Clouds of Darkness mod pack available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this pack was done by P1 Gaming Nation, I think is how it's pronounced, or his name, or whoever created this pack. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've done a lot of work off camera. Um, I got, a uh, big smeltery set up in the back i don't know if i did that last episode or in between episodes it's been a week or two since i played this mod pack but if we take a look i have built myself a mob spawner um so we'll come over here take a look and yeah i got dusts and ores all over the ground this thing's not really cooperating but I needed ender pearls before I could fix that system, and I need to fix this system too, because if you guys notice, there's a pile of stuff right there that won't drop into the hopper. I have three hoppers back there leading into this chest, and this chest is, this is just from testing, like that wasn't even an hour's worth of running. Um, <laughs> see more butts was pricked to death. Um, so I want to install a vacuum hopper into this. Sorry, it's probably a little bit loud over there. Um, so I was kind of waiting for the Enderman to drop down so I could get some Ender Pearls, which we have gotten. So just let me grab those. Got five. Sweet. I'm um, sorry about the banging in the background. There's not much I can do about it. My roommates are home right now. Um, so we need two pieces of blaze powder because I want two vacuum hoppers. One for this system and one for that system. But actually, I think before we do that, I want to show you guys what I've done in the questing book. You guys will notice I have an alumite pickaxe. Um, and I have an Alumite Maddock. Only the axe head is Alumite on that one. Um, I just kind of upgraded the tool head. But if we take a look in the questing book, I have five unclaimed quest rewards in just this section. And if we take a look, I got 18 total. So, I've been a busy little boy off camera. Um, in the first chapter... We have the dirt. I turned, well, detected the 64 dirt. So that gets us a reward bag. What kind of reward bag did that get us? A basic reward bag. Um, I did the automation. Um, and it gets us a reward bag. Just craft an auto packager. So we'll claim that one. I did the early game health regen, which was to craft six dark regen bowls. Gets us five bread and a reward bag. Um, what else have I done? That one was iron. I need to do this one because I want this page for the damned village. And I want that red heart canister. Um, this one I finally completed, so we get four troll box and a reward bag. Um, I'm really sorry, but my cat just started meowing at me, and I gotta take a quick cut here. So, I will be back in one second. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. My cat hasn't, um, been fixed yet, and she's kind of going through her heat right now. So, she likes to meow a lot. We have a male cat in the house, but it's been fixed. So, she still thinks she can, um, do stuff. So... But yeah, anyways, um, where was I? Collecting reward bags. So we did the transfer node ones. I made the other three that I needed in order to um, collect that. So we collected that one. Um, the world interaction upgrade, we needed one of those. I needed that for the cobble gen anyways. So that gets us a red heart canister and a reward bag. So we will claim that one. And then I think that wraps it up for this one. Um, I crafted the QDS. And it required a second part to the 
quest line. So we need 32 coal, 32 bone meal, 32 rotten flesh, and 32 um, dirt. Which we could probably grab now. Just let me come over here. And grab uh, half a stack of this. And there's no bone meal in here. What else is there? Coal and dirt. And this one's a manual smith. Oh, they actually want you to, whatchamacallit, use the QDS for this one too. You can't manually smith it, you have to use the QDS as far as I know. So where'd my coal go? There's coal. And then we have bone meal in here, but I only need a half a stack, so we'll grab that. Put that back. And then... I need a half a stack of dirt. And where did I put my QDS? I think it's in here. No, it is not. Where am I storing my QDS? I know I made one. There it is. I put it in with the tools. So, we will put this over here. I'm just going to slap it on the ground right here. And I think I'm going to have to take another cut here in a second because my cat is howling again. Um, let's open this up. We will, yeah, see, I got all this stuff in my inventory and I can't hit the manual detect. So we got to hit select task. And then right click the QDS and time to turn in, it's bound, drop in that, 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 and that, and we will just let that fill up and it should be done in a second. Um, 90, 100, so we will come back to that in a minute. Um, survival of the fittest, I've done a few things. Um, we had the smeltery, so we had to turn in that stuff. And then we had the smeltery parts, which you had to craft. I've done that. I've crafted a basin and a casting table and the ingot cast, so those are kind of not really needed, but I don't mind having extras of those, because now I can put more drains on my smeltery. So we will claim... Oh, I right clicked. We will claim that reward. And that led us to the start to the best, which wanted 16 in or 18 ingots of alamite, and it gives you the recipe to obsidian, to iron, five aluminum, and that gets us a reward bag. So we will claim that. I've used up most of the aluminium now. Um, oh, and it's a blood moon. I'm gonna have to take a cut here because it's gonna be too dark to do anything. So let us quickly. Oh, I got a fire going. I can hear it. Luckily, these things don't seem to burn. Um, the next part of that was we had to craft the alumite pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a binding. So I did that. And that gets us a link page to the Fortress of Hell and a block of alumite. So that is a really cool reward. <laughs> We'll claim that. I haven't done this one yet. They want 10 pieces of obsidian. They probably want you to go to the nether to get the obsidian, but I'll probably just do it in a barrel. That's how I've been getting my obsidian. And you guys will notice over there, I'm trying to make mossy cobblestone. And I will go over that with you guys when I get back. For now, I'm going to take a cut and let this blood moon go by. And maybe while I'm doing that, I will upgrade that in order to accept um, a vacuum hopper. So I will be back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. The blood moon has finally passed, and it finally stopped raining because it started raining during the blood moon. So, Which I don't mind because that helps with this type of stuff, like mossy cobble seems to go faster when it's actually raining out. So, And we'll take a look, and our QDS is finished. I took the hoppers so that I can make the vacuum hopper over here. Oh, and this is really loud. I am going to turn those guys right off for now I think I need to make a sound muffler 
Um. And apparently that doesn't even work. Um, the Ender IO mob. Okay, well, anyways, I don't want to get too close to that thing right now because it's making a lot of noise. Um, I made the vacuum hopper. I put spikes down on the bottom and then I just made the vacuum hopper exit into this chest. Um, so this chest filled up already pretty much. But those guys are loud and they don't seem to be affected by the hostile um, noise level. So, But anyways, this chest is full so I have a bunch of barrels in my inventory, some transfer pipes, and a transfer node that I plan on hooking up so that it'll all go into barrels. But I'll probably do that off camera because... I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do that. I have a few other things planned this episode. So we left off with the nether. Um, over here, hard armor. I completed this one. It was to make um, a suit of wooden armor. So I've done that. Um, so we get 10 pieces of birch wood and a reward bag. We'll claim that. And... Um, what else? I've done some stuff in the better chests area, so we'll take a look at that. I've got quite a bit done. I made the copper chest, which is really easy. It's just copper around a chest. I think that one required some glass. Only four pieces of copper, I think, but I could be wrong. I can't remember. Um, so we get a reward bag for that one. Um, I made an iron chest just because I like iron chests better, so... We get a reward bag for that. That required eight iron because I made it separate from the copper chest. But you can upgrade the copper chest to an iron chest. Um, so claim that one. And then better storage I had already completed because I completed that when I made the barrel for my cobble. So that gets us a reward bag. And then this, I've played a little bit with this in Blast, blast Off. Um, they're kind of a nifty little component. They're like a barrel, but hold multiple items depending on what size you craft. And it wanted one that was one by two, so that's got two drawers in it. It can hold two different types of items. And we get a reward bag for that. And then, um, this one, I haven't played with these ones at all. This one was an adjustable chest, and this is from the Better Chest mod. Um, so, and this has got some really nifty mechanics to it, so I really want to play with these. I think all my magic crops and whatnot are going to be done with these. So we will claim that reward. This one I've never played with either. I kind of played a little bit with it. I made one of these, and then, uh, there's a crafting upgrade that you can add to it, so I figured you could make it auto-craft, but not the case. But anyways, we get a reward bag for that. And then, as you guys can see, I made the crafting expansion, so we will claim the reward for that. And then, yeah, I think that's it in this quest line. I gotta do the silver chest, and then a gold chest, blah blah blah. I might get this line done in the later half of this episode. Um, my cat's howling again, but I don't want to cut again. Um, so up here we had the QDS one, we will claim that one, we get 32 fertilized dirt, which I've been waiting for, and a reward bag. So how did we do on reward bags so far? We've got, what are these ones? These ones are good, so we good. You won't let me, oh, there we go. Uh, greater bags and another basic bag. So we got six greater bags. Seven good bags and three basic bags. Basic bag, re good bag, and that one. So, let us open some of these up and see what kind of good stuff we got. Basic bag, we got a wooden pickaxe. Are you serious? I don't even think I can use that. Um, a wooden chest plate. And 32 half slabs. Okay. Um, the good bags, get a carpenter's chisel, that's kind of cool, but I think I already have one. 
uh, stone gear, uh, oak sieve, a golden gear, two chests, an armor stand, and a wooden gear. Okay then. And now for the greater bags. Give me something really useful, please. Ooh, I like that reward. I've already gotten that reward once, but I'll take it again. What is that? Grilled cheese sandwich. Sweet. Uh, 12 blocks of gold. That is pretty cool. Uh, speed potion. 15 minutes, it looks like. Some cobalt seeds. Cool. And magic bane, which is a rust proof artifact, unfortunately not unbreakable. So that was a pretty sweet haul. Um, um let me just dump this wrap in here um stuff not needed i'm gonna take this stuff out of my inventory because like i said i'll set that up off camera i doubt you guys really want me to s me to show you guys how to set up better barrel stuff so it's fairly easy just run the pipes to the back of it blah 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 um oh it's almost dark out what i want to do Got to turn on my NEI, but you guys will see I'm in the better chests area. So I want to make these case upgrades. Um, I need some sticks, some wood, and I should have some iron bars somewhere. There they are. Uh, no, I didn't want stone. I wanted wood. So let us get some of this. I'll just grab a stack of that. Take these nine planks, turn them into sticks, and then if we just go like so, we get eight of those. I can make, let's make two of them just in case. I'm sure I'm going to need them. So we'll clear that out, and I'm pretty sure that got us another reward. Um, better storage. Upgrade. Needed to craft eight of those. So that gets us another reward back. What kind of reward back? A greater bag. Okay, that was weird. And we got 12 obsidian seeds. Sweet. I will take those. Let me just sleep quickly. And. Um, what was the next upgrade I needed? I think it's the cobble gen one. Yes. Cobble gen one upgrade. So I think all that is, I got cobble on me. If we take a look, I need two buckets and I've got one. Oh, actually, before we do that, I want to show you guys, well, I guess I don't need to show you guys, everybody probably knows how to make a ball of moss, but I've gotten nine of those now. So, let me just put my fire out before my base burns down. Um, where did I put them? I put them right here. But my Maddock is getting pretty low on its durability and I don't really want to spend Ardite in order to repair it so I'd rather do this and that gets me auto repair on my Maddox so that is cool easy enough easy peasy um so we needed two buckets I think I'm gonna need more buckets here soon so cobbled gen we will make that one and that gets us another reward bag, so we will claim that. And we got a lantern. Places torches in unlit areas automatically. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to stick that in there for now before it starts placing my torches everywhere. 
Um, what is our next one that we have to do? We need a planting upgrade, and I think that one required food or seeds. I can't remember. Uh, planting is this guy. Oh, and I need four iron hoes. So let me grab some of this. I need eight of those. Um, how many sticks do I got left? I got 17 sticks. That should be more than enough. Um, craft all of those. Get an achievement. Time to farm. Put this in here. Put this here. And I think if I just throw some seeds around it like so, that gets us that one. Got lots of seeds. I've been harvesting my wheat whenever I get a chance. So, there's that one. Um, quest book. Claim that reward. Ooh, what's that? Coin of Fortune. Draws in nearby items and XP. That is pretty cool. I like that one. I'm just, I'm really sorry guys. I gotta cut again and take care of my cat. I will be back in one second. Okay guys, sorry about that. I know there's been a lot of cuts. My cat's kind of in one of those moods. Sorry, I'm really sorry guys. Um, Hopefully this will be the last cut. Um, I think we're pretty close to the wrapping up point anyways, so I've got this ready off camera. It's the last upgrade we need to complete this one little leg of the quest line. So that was the harvest that gets us another reward bag. We will claim that and we will collect it and... Ooh, Ardite seeds. Ooh, I'm just like getting all types of seeds from me. Magic crops? Is that what that's from? Yes, it is. So, one of the things that I'm going to have to do is I want to take a closer look at this mod for the better chests and see how it works better. Um, I'm pretty sure if I put one of these chests down... Where am I keeping that chest? But if I put like one of these chests down and I add some of these upgrades to it, I will be able to get it to farm for me so I want to kind of play around with that I will do most of it off camera and then I will show you guys how I set it up next episode um actually yeah maybe it'll be next episode there was something else I wanted to do next episode too but we'll see um some of the other things I'm going to do off camera is I want to take this dirt and I want to run it through a sieve because I want to try and get some essence seeds. And as far as I know, that's the only way to get them. We Yeah, see, you get a 3% chance of essence seeds. Um, you can get some tomato seeds, some strawberry seeds, some magical crop seeds. 50% um, chance of bone meal. 33% chance of zombie flesh so i want to get some of that sifted now that i got a mob spawner i can make fertilized dirt so if i need more like if i only get one or two seeds from this sifting it yeah sifting it i can uh, make more which is a bonus so yeah um what else i've got the mob spawner running now which is really good we're getting Lots of cool stuff in here. Oh, that chest is almost full again already. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of that right away. Let me get away from there. Those horses are really loud. Um, I made a drum off camera just to store lava. I've got to get a QED made so I can make a fluid transpose. Fluid transposer? Actually... 
You know what? I might just go the way of Ender IO and their conduits and stuff. Now that I've got a mob spawner, I can get some Ender pearls, which is one of the major things needed with Ender IO. So I want to make some of these, especially for the mob spawner. Actually, maybe I'll do that instead of transfer node and pipe. I'll just take that chest off and put another one on it for now. I think I have enough ender pearls that I could probably make some ender conduit. Um, That one quest we did gave us some of these generators. Oh, maybe we'll do that one quickly. I think I can do this really quickly. And it'll be the last one um before we wrap up this episode i think it's survival of the fittest oh i've got one more i can claim in here oh i didn't claim it yet that's why so this one was burn baby burn it wanted me to craft eight of those survival generous generators generous so i've got that and then next it wants you to craft one of these survival generators like the next tier of it and let me just see what the recipe requires. Oh, no, I need an energy transfer node in order to be able to craft that. And I'm pretty sure that requires the QED, so I won't be able to do that. But maybe I will craft myself either a capacitor, one of these capacitor banks, or an energy cell from thermal expansion and maybe get a little bit of power running and what I might craft is the alloy smelter off camera and get that ready to go it's fairly simple it just requires some copper a machine frame which is some osmi oh that is one other thing I wanted to craft before I sign off um, in here, I've gotten three obsidian, and I made myself a tough tool rod pattern, and that will get me an obsidian tough rod. And then, if I look in this chest over here, sorry, it's going to get a little dark here. Um, I just, I want to get this done so I can wrap up the episode. This thing's going to help me out a lot. Um, if we look in NEI for the builders wand there is a recipe that doesn't require unstable ingots and i want to make this because this is going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to hammering down ores so if i just take some cobble and i place it down like so and i take the builder's wand and i just go boom 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 i can place lots of this in a short amount of time and then just take my hammer use vein miner and Boom, I've got 24 gravel, like that. So that will help quite a bit with loading these things up, trying to get more ores and whatnot. Um, I've got to put a, this somewhere so it's not a big pain. Um, got to build some more out here, so maybe I'll do some of that between this episode and next episode. Not promising anything, but... But I've got a builder's wand. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'll make an ally smelter and whatnot in between this episode and next episode and get that ready. And hopefully by then I will have this all set up so that it will just sort everything into barrels. Yeah, I gotta do something really quick because it's almost full. That thing is producing a lot of mobs, more than any other series I've done. So that is cool um but yeah anyways i think i'm gonna sign off here i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave me a like helps me out a lot um subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed it's free it lets you know when i got new videos up and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video